for my final video of the day, I'm going to post a video to the entertainment guy. I'm um, not doing the, the, the book reading tonight. Um, Yvonne's still doing masks and, and, uh, and, and surgical caps, a lot of surgical caps today. Um, she's still, she's still uh, working on uh, Surrey Hospital and, and making sure they get theirs. Uh, and it's it's been it's been a good experience, honestly. I think it's I think it's created a, a, a really strong community. Uh, I, I think that she's become better friends with people from the the fabric store. Fabric's not necessarily cheap, but they've done their best to find her uh, a cheap fabric that'll work for what she's making. And uh, she talks to them every day, so uh, it's been good. Um, and uh, the the. The one trick with it all, of course, is I, I'm, you know, doing videos every day and I have to take into account that uh, there are there are costs in, in terms of all these masks that are getting made and all the, the, the caps that are getting made. And she doesn't get paid by the hospitals for it, but there are people who locally uh, have been providing uh, donations, which has been great. Um, she's she's just taken the donation money and put it straight back into fabric i know she was really happy last week she got she got a rather decent donation and i said that'll that'll buy you some fabric and she said yes so the the one drawback of that is that a lot of the more fun patterns that you see a lot of the more colorful patterns that you see those are the more expensive fabrics so there's fabric she has up there that was about 30 dollars a meter so the the cost for her to replace that is still going to be about 30 dollars a meter if she can even replace it a lot of fabric gets made out of China. So uh, for a couple months there, there was nothing coming. I know um, with with what I buy and with what I uh, I, I go through that a lot of the, the, the chains of, uh, of supply are going to get broken because of China being shut down for a long time. So even if it says manufactured in Canada, the, the actual fabric, the actual material, and some of the actual product is probably going to come through China. So... Um, we're we're in this 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 time where there there are some concerns about supply chains and food chains and we've we've seen that as well with the food supply but i think there's some some distractions on the way and i think the distractions are important and i've had this debate recently and i i do think the distractions are important yes both of my channels are based on some of those distractions whether it's movies and television series or sports uh they're, they're still important to people. There's a lot of money in them. Uh, F1 announced today they're cutting their budget for next year down to like, I think it was $125 million. Uh, of course, we have the uh, the ongoing uh, NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR being as it is, um, they're trying to come back this, this month, which, you know, we'll see how that goes. But North Carolina's governor hasn't ruled it out. And F1, it's going to be in July. By all accounts, it looks like it's going to be in July. Although their second event on the calendar is set to be in the UK. So while the first one would be in Austria, and it's in a, it's in a remote location, it sounds fantastic. I really will watch that if there's nothing else on. I will get up early in the morning and watch it. Probably live stream it on here. But um, the you know a British event, I don't know how you're going to make that work. And I'm not sure. And again, it's a long ways out. Uh, we're, we're in a situation now where things seem to change daily and, uh, yeah. So sports is going to make some sort of comeback. Basketball is looking at getting some, some facilities up and running middle of this month. Hockey's looking at the end of the month and we're going to see how, how players vote on this and what players are, are willing to come back and which ones aren't. It's not going to be a hundred percent. And again, we'll see where viewing numbers are, should they come back, and, and all of that. I think the viewing numbers are going to be good. And I've said all along, whichever sport figures out how to come back is going to get 100% of the audience. So even if you have, say, 20% of, of NASCAR's audience saying, well, I'm not watching because, you know, we've got other things going on. I understand that sentiment, but you're still, now you're going to get casuals who don't normally watch NASCAR saying, well, it's, it's live sports, I'll watch it. And so you're still, you're still going to see... Um, a situation where people are willing to watch. Now, where WWE has had suffering is that it's a pre-planned uh, product. And when we know it's taped and there's no fans in attendance, it doesn't feel the same. So there's no, like if, if they have like Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns, as an example. But if we knew they were actually going to fight, and we, we know it's not pre-planned, and they're like, these guys are going to have an actual real fight. Ratings would go through the roof. People would go nuts. So there, I, I don't think that pre-scripted uh, sports uh, of that nature, and I'm saying sports because while uh, it is, some people call it fake, I won't call it fake because 
uh, guys get really badly hurt. I was watching a, a match between uh, Bill Goldberg and, and The Rock when they had the, the best of Bill Goldberg on WWE, which is an oxymoron. I don't know that that works. I'm not a big Goldberg fan, never was. Um, I was a fan of his for like three weeks in WCW, and then I realized how, how dangerous he was. So he, he threw The Rock over the top rope, but he, he did it in a sloppy manner, and you see The Rock drill his head on the mat. Um, and I'm talking the apron outside, like, and you could see The Rock was not in good shape. He he got up, He his bell was rung, and by today's standards, that match probably would have at least been paused so a doctor could talk to him, but uh, that was kind of scary stuff. But, yeah, wrestling doesn't work uh, as, as a, a, a pre-taped, no fans in attendance kind of thing for most fans. Now, I've enjoyed it. So I'm going to, you know, full disclosure, I've thought the product's been better. I've thought the matches have been more interesting. I've thought that... Um, you know, being able to hear them call and stuff. I think that's fun. I think there's a lot more to it. But I understand why the ratings are down at the same time. Sports, I think, will be something different because we know it's live. We know it's not pre-planned. Yes, there are people who say that they're all rigged and that's that's okay. That's you. That's fine. You do you. But I'm just saying that, that, that most out in the population are going to say, no, we want to watch that. So I'm looking forward to seeing which sports come back and when and PGA is going to come back likely without fans. And it's easier for some of these, and apparently they've come up with some kind of um, way to make sure that when you're putting and everything, you're still maintaining your distance. You don't have to worry about grabbing the... Because the one thing I thought was, well, everybody grabs the flag, right? That's that's the one spot. That's your, your high contact surface. Everybody grabs. How are they going to... So apparently they're not going to have to worry about that either. But I look forward to finding out. And then TV and movies. So down the street in Vancouver, they're always making TV shows and movies. Right now, with how dead everything is downtown, and and with the fact that that there's there's so much room, like you could you could start up a TV series. When I was watching The Flash this week, one thing that occurred to me was every scene had one or two people in it, maybe three. And so you could absolutely have filmed that entire episode with what we have going on right now. I realize there's cameramen, I realize there's directors and, and all this that are that are present. It's not just those two actors on a set. But you could absolutely have a set where there's less than 10 people on it and film a TV show. And you could do it with movies too, especially if you're doing green screen and CGI. So it's possible. It may make movies and, and, and TV shows take longer. But I think we'll start to hear more about productions being started again uh, by the end of this month. And it'll back up, I think it'll probably back up uh, debut dates for TV shows in the fall. We may see them debut a month later, but they'll still make their debut. And for movies, this is absolutely going to gut the industry. Um, and I'm wondering how this is going to work because, you know, there are certain places that you're going to open up movie theaters, like they've opened up malls in Georgia, and then there's pictures out of those malls, and nobody's at the mall. Um, even locally here, the mall's open. I, I don't go to it. I haven't gone... Uh, to a mall in over seven weeks. Yvonne goes to check our mail, and that's that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, and and yeah, so really, in all honesty, um, movies and TV series, I think, can come back. Uh, I think there'll be some kind of uh, reopenings all along the way. Uh, I I I will say I I understand there are some people that aren't aren't happy with how doom and gloom everything is. There's one thing on the channel, both channels, I've tried to. Um, to, to not get into the doom and gloom stuff as much as humanly possible. It affects everything, though. It's in it's in everything right now. Um, I've been uh, happy with the way things are in general. Uh, I am aware that we're going to have a, a holiday this summer that isn't going to feel much like a holiday in that, you know, we've gone to Vegas, we've gone to Disneyland, we've, we've taken trips for years now, and it's always been a nice break. So if... Again, and this depends on the border being open for the boys to be able to go see their dad. But if the border's open and they're able to do that, then we we could find ourselves in a situation where we, we have, you know, that kid free time, which is important. And, uh, yeah, we could see we could see something uh, of, of a trip, but it's not going to be, I don't think it'll, it'll be in the States. I, I don't. Because um, I, I don't think we'll be in a place where, where we can do that. And then... With everything being shut down and with the with the economy being where it is, I don't have the the finances to do that. So even though uh, the the plane tickets are already bought, um, and that's from from Disneyland here and from uh, from Seattle to Vegas and from Vegas to Disneyland, like we've got it all planned out and it's all paid for. 
Um, there's still the cost of the hotel in Vegas, which is it, it, it's 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 not cheap. So I've I've paid a deposit on it, but the only cost we really have left is that. And I I do look at that and I say, you know, I, I can't justify spending that. I would be much smarter to just have a, a rolling uh, credit uh, with the airlines and just, just get the money back from the Aria Hotel and say, all right, well, the August trip isn't going to happen either. So we've talked about doing a trip in Canada. Uh, and that's where meetups may come in, where we may be able to have meetups. Now, one thing we've talked about is, would it be street hockey? Probably not. It might be, but probably not. Uh, I've talked about maybe you know, play soccer, maybe. But again, soccer, you can still have situations where you're up in close quarters. And we may still have guidelines in place that would prevent that. And then the one the one thing that I would be worried about is that if I did have a meetup, we may have so many people that are cooped up and pent up right now and just want to go out that I could throw a meetup and it could be 40, 50 people that show up. And it, it could be like everybody's all crowded together. And then I go what have I done? So I, I don't want to be in that position either. Um, I've even talked to Yvonne about maybe making it where it's it's an invite situation where we invite like 10 or 15 people and something like that. But, uh, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, I'm, I'm at least thinking about it. So if you'd asked me a month ago, if you'd said, are there going to be any meetups this summer? I would have said no. Now, but it, we're at least thinking about it. The, the numbers in BC have been very encouraging. Um, and that's that's important. And uh, so we're 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 kind of we're kind of hoping that the things continue to get better. Um, it's it, it 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 does feel like this is is a marathon, but I I do think it's one that that, that we can win, um, and and no amount of giant hornets can can tell me that we're not going to giant and they're not far from here. They were seen near Vancouver, and I'm not far from Vancouver, so giant hornets i'm not a fan of that that's that doesn't make me happy uh but you know that's okay that's fine that's fine that's okay that's fine um i've never been a bee person i mean it took me till almost, i was almost an adult before i stopped freaking out if there was honeybees around now, i don't really worry about it, but wasps are jerks so i don't really like wasps but these these things are like steroid jerks so uh, hopefully um Pest control keeps that under control, and that's what they're trying to do. So when you see all these these headlines, the important thing is they are they are doing their best to try to make sure they don't take root here. And we always hear about invasive species, and sometimes um, it's the pine beetle kind of situation where it it just runs its course, and we we are unable to stop it. And sometimes it gets stopped in its tracks. So um, here's to hoping more stuff gets stopped in its tracks in the near future, and here's to hoping you don't. So if you're going through anything right now. Um, with stress due to everything that's going on. Remember, you, there's always always resources you can reach out. And um, Lord knows I've done it before, and I've been grateful to have done it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we can all get through this together, and we can have sports, movies, and TV series to look forward to soon enough. And I could just keep catching up on Lucifer. Thank you guys so much for all your support throughout this. It really, it honestly, it means a lot. Uh, I, I make these videos in part because, you know, it is my job. Uh, I make these videos in part as well because, you know, it helps to, to, to pay bills and, and, and pay rent and, you know, make sure that in this time we still have food in the house, which we do, thankfully. And uh, and, and again, if you're not stocking up on meat, there I'm, the beef is, is really important, right? That's the one. Uh, poultry, I think there's ways that some of the plants are, but beef is the big one. So be careful with that. Um, we stocked up as soon as I heard about the first issue so i'm like okay go get beef now um so yeah we we have plenty of beef we're good for probably months and uh yeah so that's that's one thing that i'll i'll say after having worked with it for years but i'm, I'm very grateful to be able to do this and i'm very grateful too that that part of what this does part of what um this this has done is that it has allowed uh my wife not to have to have tremendous concerns over how she's going to be able to to pay for all the fabric she's 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 using for masks uh, as much as she's had she is running out on certain kinds so uh it's been good that that i've i've still managed to you know crank out the content there's been a lot of content on both this and the main channel um i know people were talking on the main channel uh, last week about me being featured on the score which is nice 
uh, I think that's you know it, it's it's nice to be featured in such a fashion and whatnot. It it didn't give a, a significant bump to the channel. I think people that that want to follow the main channel already do, and I think it's already well known enough that I think you know people are already following it, and so there's a gradual climb in subscriber numbers. And when hockey announces it's coming back, we'll see that big jump. We'll see a big jump, and uh, it'll. I'm I'm still guessing it's this summer when they get something going. And we'll see. Um, we'll we'll see. But uh, I am optimistic, and I, I think I think we'll get through this all together. And I'll have all kinds of sports, TV, and movie stuff to talk about. Now, there's been talk of of me doing top ten lists and and playlists and stuff on here. Uh, I do intend to start doing that as well. Uh, there's still playlists on the hockey channel. I I said right when hockey got canceled or well got put on pause. I've got hockey topics to last months, if not years, and I do. So for anybody who might have went, hey, Shannon's finally going to have his downfall. It's finally over. Nope. If anything, the channel's grown. I've gained, I think, 2,500 subscribers, about 3,000 subscribers, actually, since since the hockey announced that it was done for, for, for now. And, and we're finding out that this may not have been the actual, this may have just been it wasn't tied, and so the, the news comes right off, and maybe we're okay. Um, yeah, so we're, you know, it's still growing, it's still going, and it's still generating enough numbers that uh, that things are okay for me. Like I said, it does mean that trips and all that wonderful stuff, that's gone, but it, it's, it's still... It's still pretty good, and if we drive up to Whistler for a weekend, that's fine too. I could do videos all over Whistler, and this time, unlike last time I went to Whistler, I'll make sure that the microphone's working while I'm out there. Because I went out and I filmed the video in Whistler, microphone didn't work, and I didn't test it before. And then the video I posted didn't matter because, and I had I had Whistler black comb in the background and it looked fantastic, but yeah. So always make sure it works. But I've got a better setup now. I've got a better computer. I've got a better uh, microphone. I've got a better um, webcam as well, so it's a better setup. And I, I think um, if we did go up to Whistler and filmed up there, I think that would be great. And so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support throughout this. It means a ton. Um, the overwhelming positive feedback that that the channel, that both channels get, really, and and the emails and all that, and I, I do see them, and my wife sees them, and we monitor all that. And so, thank you guys so much for all of that because it means a lot. And uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened on this video. Maybe you're you're from the hockey channel and you're like, oh, yeah, right, Shannon's got a second channel. Maybe I'll subscribe here. Yes. Uh, when sports come back, I intend to do live streams on this channel during whether it's it's NASCAR uh, and and NASCAR. People are going to learn pretty quick that Shannon Shannon watched a lot of NASCAR. Um, I get pretty pretty in there with the whole. Don't pit stop yet. Don't take the... Oh, he's taken... Oh, he went on pit row. That's a mistake. Or why is he... He's going to run out of gas. Oh, my God. Like, so there's a lot of fun stuff that goes on with NASCAR. I'm, I'm honestly looking forward to seeing it come back if it's the first thing back. I don't watch UFC, so I'm going to say straight out, I won't be watching the UFC event on Saturday, but enjoy that for people who do. And, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think we're going to see some return of something. And remember... Sports employs a lot of people. So if we start to see some sort of a return of it on some level, that's going to employ some people. So yeah, there's millionaires and billionaires that are positively influenced, but there are plenty of people as well who may not have had any paycheck at all. I know of people who live in Vegas that have had no income whatsoever in about two months. And so any income that can come in is welcome. They've had no money at all. Uh, and I'm talking like all the government money that's out there. They didn't qualify for that kind of thing. So there are definitely some people out there that are really, really hurting. And so while this stuff may seem like it's no big deal, and the meetups, the meetups are not, not a, they don't they don't employ people. Well, I, I guess if we go to a restaurant, right? But anyways, these these things may seem like they're small, no big deal, but there are people being negatively impacted right now who are just being financially destroyed. So whenever they figure out something to put some of them back to work, it's a good thing. And I'm looking forward to reporting on that. Good news is always appreciated. Uh, that's why John Krasinski starts Good News and everybody watches it. And also because Jim Halpert was kind of the man. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll talk to you again soon.